Welcome back to new exercise in SOLIDWORKS. This is isometric view of a model and uh, scale is 1.2 s to 1. So let's start with this. All dimensions are in millimeter. Subscribe YouTube channel CAD CAM tutorial. Okay, let's come to the point. Now we have to decide from where we are going to start. So we will start from base. Now this base flange width and length is C. 120 by 42 millimeter and height is 10 millimeter and the corner radius goes 6 millimeter all corner so let's do this first now you have to first decide you are going to start from which plane so top plane is more suitable for our model sketch now activate center rectangle start from origin point click and drag right click select or press escape key to out activate smart dimension now length here 120 millimeter say yes and the width is 42 millimeter even though we can apply corner fillet here but we will apply separately extrude now here start from sketch plane now end condition keep blind and the depth is 10 millimeter say yes if i am going to activate fillet or even if i am going to click any edge you will see fillet or chamfer so let me activate fillet first let me choose here clear constant type size fillet constant size fillet then tangent propagation so sexual bar full preview and here keep symmetric and the radius 6 millimeter now if i am going to select one edge it will gives you two options see here so i am going to select the first one so that it will select all four corner no need to select one by one say yes that's it now let's come to this point 70 internal uh, outer diameter 70 60 internal diameter and distance from bottom to the center of hole 105 millimeter then there is one more catch you will see here this is going to be 48 millimeter see but this is 42 and here you will see that this length is vertical it means this is going to end at the end of this this is the symbol and uh, here you have to add 6 millimeter extra 42 minus 6 6 millimeter coming out because this due to this relation and one more relation this wall width is 60 millimeter and depth is 6 millimeter see here and the corner there is a radius r5 and the bottom r16 now let me select this face sketch activate circle and let me draw one circle smart dimension now let's define outer diameter 70 now center distance from bottom face 105 millimeter perfect okay let me draw one line also vertical line make sure this line going to touch with this now make sure this line vertical now see this is fully defined just because we apply this line now select these two lines and directly click on mirror entity and it will mirror activate the smart dimension now this center distance 60 millimeter okay now this is fully defined sketch extrude now here is sketch plane blind first we have to choose selected contour so i am going to select this circle now here direction 1 direction 2 we are going to move asymmetric di direction 1 direction 2 so total length 48 48 minus 42 so this one direction it is going for 6 millimeter now other direction 42 from this face so total length 42 6 48 millimeter 
say ok. Again select the sketch extruded boss base. Again come to first selected contour and move your cursor near to this because this is close profile. So simply select this two. And uh, here keep end condition blind reverse direction. 6 millimeter is the thickness. Keep as it is. Look. Activate fillet. Now here constant size fillet. Tangent propagation full preview. Now radius. I'll choose your multi radius. Multi fillet radius. Now let's see how. Let me select this all radius. Now each and every radius we can do manually. 5. Okay. This is also 5. But this bottom one. These are 16 millimeter. 16 enter. 16 enter. Look, this is going to change. Say OK. So you don't need to every time apply fillets. Just simply choose multi radius. Now let's make this upper part. This upper part, you will see 12 diameter, there is a hole. And outer radius 14, distance from center it's 42. This is important. And the length, if you are going to check here, from this edge to this edge, 32 plus 3 plus 32. Okay. This is going to do that. And this is 6 millimeter away from here. It means this is parallel to this outer face. Then there is one rib also. Now here there is a rib from this corner to here, 20 millimeter and the width of this rib is 6 millimeter. So let's do this. First we will select front plane sketch. Now here make our body activate circle tool, a uh, line tool. Go back to the point and see the line automatically convert into arc. Draw a half circle, connect. Okay. Activate a smart dimension tool. Okay. Let me do one more thing. Draw one center line which help us to draw this. Select these two lines and activate collinear constraint. Smart dimension. Now this radius 14. Now distance from here to outer edge is 6 millimeter. Fine. And distance from here to this 42 millimeter. Extrude. Now, let's say 32 plus 32 plus 3. Keep end condition mid plane because the material moving both side. Sketch plane we already selected. Look. Let's create a rib here. Connect this point to this point. Now, there is a one catch, distance from this outer edge, let's say 20 millimeter, but this is not going to be perfectly go, activate rip tool. Now here thickness we will add both side, but this is 6 millimeter. Direction see the arrow is moving perfectly towards body. If you select, it will not work. So what we will do, we will add some more thing. Let's add line, line up to let's say center point. This is a kind of error still in me. Now rib, add thickness both sides 6 millimeter. You will see the arrow towards body. This is what we like to keep. Say yes. Now that's it. See. Now in another side there is one more rib and this is vertical to this 6 millimeter depth and uh, there is a 2 hole 15 dia 21 from one edge and center distance 90 millimeter in both side. Then comes here uh, there is a hole 12 diameter throughout hole then this 60 diameter and then there is one cut out this 3 millimeter. So let's take this cutout, sketch 
activate circle tool you will find center point see smart dimension 60 now activate line tool and draw one line from center to top point activate extruded cut feature first you have to choose selected contour and i'll choose this see if i move my cursor it will orange select this one sketch plane and condition keep blind uh, no this let's choose through all because we want it throughout hole say yes again activate select the line activate extruded cut but this time i am going to choose this line and here choose thin feature look direction choose mid 3 millimeter 3 millimeter is the depth width of this and keep end condition through all if you choose through all see you will see the preview say ok look now let me add hole here so go to hole wizard legacy hole simple hole now here you can change the value let's say hole value 12 millimeter now length length is we are not able to get because we already apply a condition here through all or even though oh, you can apply blind then you can change it but let's keep through all position select the sketch uh, face and move cursor over edge and you will find center point just click on center point escape key to out look that's it in similar way let's front plane now here we want to add one more rib connect from this point to this point now in this condition ribs are going to work because this is aligned with one edge rib keep both side thickness 6 mm depth and the material moves toward body see the arrow say yes look sketch there is a two hole Okay, let's uh, even though we can define by whole wizard, but that's fine. Now select both the hole equal constraint. Again, select the center point of both the hole and make relation vertical. That's fine. Let's define dimension from one edge. It's going to be 21, just half of the main body. And uh, let's say center distance 90 it's still not fully defined so let's keep one important relation apply here center line now hold shift key and select these two points and center line leave and you will see this option make symmetric click ok smart dimension 15 Look, this is fully defined sketch. Extruded cut. Now here in this condition, keep end condition blind or uh, through all. If you choose through all, it will work. Even if you choose up to next, next means this face. Okay. This is also works. So this is the simple tutorial for the beginners, those who want to start to learn SOLIDWORKS. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.